The political storm surrounding President Jacob Zuma's latest cabinet reshuffle is being felt beyond South Africa's borders. The sacking of Pravin Gordon and his deputy, Mbisi Jonas, is tarnishing South Africa's image as Africa's political leader. South Africa's active role in Africa is diminished in a, in a very big way. From what I hear when I, I travel around the continent, how people are, are worried about how we pulled back Kwasazana Dlamini Zuba from Africa. They feel that we use them because she only served for a month, a, a year, for a one term, and nobody achieves anything in a term. There are all sorts of things. They may be wrong, but then there is that thing about South Africa diminishing its political legitimacy, political currency, as a leader on the African continent. Sipamanja Zondi says despite the public outcry and disapproval from opposition political parties to President Zuma's latest cabinet reshuffle, South Africa remains a leading democracy on the continent. Meanwhile, Sipopijana, chairman of Anglo Ashanti, a global mining giant, says South Africa's economic future is on the line. Speaking in his capacity as leader of the Save SA movement on Monday, Pijana says global investors have lost confidence in the country's leadership. Why does it take the decisions? Um, and and it, it, is a, it is a disconcerting matter. So to hide behind uh, prerogative is in fact mischievous because in fact we have political parties represented in parliament, not individuals. He is a leader of a political party that chooses to ignore, to create a destabilization of our democracy and our economic system. And it shows that the levels of desperation on the part of the president. Opposition parties plan to hold a summit to debate the state of the country. Dumala Mushaudi, SABC News, Tswane.